What's up everybody, it's Bam Margera here giving you an update. So I finally got out of treatment after a year and a half um, of bullshit, $660,000 worth of bills, and I found out that Steve Timmer, the interventionalist, would keep extending my stay, probably to pocket more money, but it was for the most ridiculous reasons that weren't even the truth. They're fucking full-blown make-believe. I went to a hotel room, with my aunt to surprise my son and wife on a joint room to knock on the door before the police knocked on the door and handcuffed me for no reason. Photos were taken and he said that I was with a prostitute in the hotel room doing drugs and I assaulted her. There's no proof of any of this. My, it was my aunt fucking Missy. Like, this Steve Timmer dipshit doesn't even do the fucking research whatsoever. He just assumes, oh, must be a prostitute. She ripped out her hair follicles to prove she's never done a drug in her lifetime. And he also said that my mom rescued me on an overdose. I've never overdosed in my life. And uh, he's the reason why I had to do another 90 days for throwing a cigarette out in a bush. He said I lit the bush on fire. It was just smoking like any cigarette would. And for wearing the same sweatpants for a week for bad hygiene, big deal. I'm not running around in the gym sweating. Uh, <laughs> and then I found out that he got kicked out of being a lawyer for pocketing money and bezeling it from clients. And then he got kicked out for alcohol as well. So now he's an interventionist saying that he's helping people, but he's really just screwing people. Uh, I just been in a, in a serious pickle here in Florida and uh, I'm in IOP now so I just can't wait to finish my classes to October 5th. Rock and roll.